Hi, this is Doug. You're watching Fifth Wall TV, your favorite art related vlog that happens to be shot out of some guy's bedroom. Now, in line with the opening of his latest exhibition, Watch Your Palace Fall, I thought I'd take a look over the incredible career of Irish superstar Conor Harrington. <laughs> Hip hop and graffiti aren't probably the first things that come to mind when I say Cork in Ireland. Now, as small as a scene as it may have been, this is a scene Connor happened to find himself right in the heart of. Like so many artists of that mid 90s generation, Connor's entry into the art world came through graffiti. Whether it was the adrenaline rush of painting on something you're not supposed to, or if it was the ego massaging of seeing your name all over a city. So many of these big hitters of the contemporary world today came through this world. Even though he's moved on somewhat from this culture, graffiti still plays a huge element and role within his artwork. Up until that point, I'd only been interested in graffiti and I, I knew that that's what I wanted to do and that's what I wanted to continue. Um, I wanted to, I didn't know much about the art world or about modern art or contemporary art, but I knew that I wanted to kind of take graffiti um, take it not just off the walls and into the gallery, but just kind of take it in a new direction, really. The text that was once the main feature of his work started to take a back seat. Now it became more of an abstract contribution to the overall composition of his work, which was now predominantly driven by figures. And for me, the introduction of these characters really allowed him to take his work to the next level. The problem for me with graffiti is it becomes quite limited in where you can take it once you remove it from its sort of natural environment of being, you know, in the realms of a city. Connor is nothing short of a master when it comes to marrying the classical and the contemporary. His work is all about juxtaposition. Traditional line work juxtaposes urban tags, charcoals mixed with aerosols and control very much contrasts against chaos. His finished work always carries a kind of haunting effect around it and he creates this through abstraction. So rather than leaving what you would expect to see as a complete image, he will take a squeegee and he'll remove layers or he'll pour solvent and it'll actually eat into the layers of paint themselves and this will create what becomes a very signature and instantly recognisable effect on his finished work. There are several recurring themes throughout Connor's work, the most common being male identity. Like, because I'm painting these big men of power, and if they're dripping and kind of and dissolving, it looks like that power has kind of been stripped away from them. For Connor, the bravado and ego that surround these military figures, it parallels perfectly with the hip hop heroes that he grew up with. So instead of looking at some general holding his sword, you could well be looking at Biggie donning a massive chain as he's about to take to stage. For me, his most memorable work featuring a woman came from 2014's exhibition Eat and Delete, which featured a half-naked woman being unveiled on top of a table with another man sitting in the corner kind of leeching over her. Believe it or not, this piece was actually a metaphor for the porn industry and how male dominance has subjugated these women. So it's quite clear that there's no subject too far or too dangerous or controversial for Connor to tackle. As you walk through, not only will you be blown away by the scale and the impact that the work carries, you'll notice that six of the canvases feature characters holding this golden mask. And this mask is a symbol of our alter egos, our alternative personas, whether this is uh, the lies and deceit that exist in the political world, or whether it's the alias that we take on as soon as we enter the digital world, or simply our other name that we use to tag on walls. The show itself is running till the 9th of October, but if you are in London on the 2nd, you can actually catch the man himself doing a book signing at the Henny Gallery. And for most of us, this will be the only chance that we get to take something away from this exhibition, given that I think it's sold out on the opening night and the average price range is slightly above what, well, most of us can kick in for a canvas. Hey, Connor, you're killing it. For me, this exhibition further cemented Connor's ambitions to break away from any labels surrounding street art graffiti. He's quite clearly way above that and he is very much a man on a mission with absolutely no signs of slowing down. So for us, we just get to kick back and watch him fly. 
I've been Doug for Fifth Wall TV. Please do go check out the show if you can. If not, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff that hopefully one day means this can be my job. Next time. What? <laughs>